I'm fine, thank you. Sit down. Thank you, Jesus. I'm Mrs. Mbata. I'm going to teach common fractions in grade four. I've used different methods and different resources. We were counting in tens. What is half of ten? Half of ten is five. Very good. How do we divide in equal parts? The, the method that I use question and what is answer. Half of 30? Involvement the half of, of the learners. In fraction, we are talking about sharing. Here, I've got one apron. If I say, I've got a one hole of an apron, and I've got two children. Let's say I am your granny, okay? Yes. I bought one apron, and I've got only two children. I have to cut it into halves so that one can get a part of a whole which is half and the other will get a part of a whole which is half. I have to cut it in halves. The resources that I used uh, was the charts, flip charts, real model like an apple. I've cut my apple into Halves. How, the how the halves? learner should tell me what is the part that I am having to write the number half or the fraction. Yes, half. Good. Half has two numbers. We have one April. We had we had a whole April. You had one April, which was a whole. After, yes, after writing the fraction half, which, which it is where the learners see that there is, there are two numbers. This, this half is a fraction. If we have two numbers like this, this is a fraction. This top number and this is a bottom number. Okay. What do we call the top number of a fraction? This number, which has numerator and a denominator, is called a fraction. Fraction is? Fraction is a part of a whole. Fraction is a part of a whole. The numerator in a fraction, the top number of a fraction, it tells us how many parts are used. What does it tell us? How many pieces is divided? And the denominator tells, tells us into how many parts is the whole divided. Each half is cut into two. Now, what fraction is this? I must write one as a numerator and write When we are doing common fractions, we are sharing equal parts. Yes. So when I, I am giving them the apple, I want them to share among themselves equally. To show the quarters, to show the thirds, to show the sixth, to show the fifth. With this strip, they are in groups. In groups, there are five groups, there are six groups, there are four groups so they have to share amongst equally so that they know how to divide you are my grandchild and also you are my grandchild okay everyone got the apple okay i give them the apple i also give them them the the strips in daily life they can they can divide whatever in front of them the half of a strip, the whole of the strip, the third of the strip, the sixth, as well the eighth. Shade. We first measure the strip. The strip is 30 centimeters. Look carefully. Look a uh, fifth. Now we are going to order the fractions 
in an ascending order. Which one is the smallest? This is ordering fractions. Ordering, ordering fractions. That a half is bigger than the third. Half is bigger than the third. Write the symbol. Good. Good. Can you see the I also use the shards where I draw. What can I give this diagram? In a diagram, I just show how many parts are used. The outcome of the lesson or the concepts and skills of the lesson will be comparing, will be ordering, will be adding the fractions. So I, I'll take them to stand in front of the class with their different uh, fractions in strips because I wanted them to order the fraction to see how, how big is the quarter, how big is the whole compared to the, to the to other fractions. That's what they, they were doing the comparison. They were doing the comparison. They were doing also the ordering of fraction, which is smaller than the other. They must be able to recognize the, the fractions. They must be able to, to recognize the equivalent form of the fraction. One of the aims of teaching mathematics is to develop the beauty and elegance of mathematics in all, and also to develop the curiosity and love of mathematics.